Mr. Toad? Do something, Bigby! Before he completely tears up the place! Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. What the fuck are you talking about, you stupid cunt? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. It's not what you might be thinking. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Motherfucker. Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. <gasps> but he said if word of this ever got back to me, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill one. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Ollie, you're out of paper towels and the... They're gonna string me up, Bigby. You said it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that could tell me something about a girl named... Fuck, man! This fucking lab dog. Come sniffing around this place. The rich fucks in the woods need to shoot <laughs> Right, Big B. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. Nice. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. That's very helpful. Thank you. or something? Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I just said that. Is there something... Please. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. 
We have to go, now. What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him, and he hasn't said anything useful. And, Bigby, we have to tread carefully here. We can't implicate an innocent man, and people are already worried about your conduct. As of late. I mean, he hasn't appeared to know anything yet. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, Everything's gotten so confused. Did she, um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things. Make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on, just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you, in theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. 
Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? I'm glad you have a sense of humor. I hope that means you're willing to cooperate. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. I know you're up to something. What is it? Well, right now I'm sitting here having a laugh. But, big picture, I'm planning on buying a new hat. Maybe one with polka dots. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Are you done yet? I'm getting old over here. What's that you've got? Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. I don't want to see that. Snow was murdered, D. She was... important to me. If you know who did this, you have to tell me. I don't know what to tell you. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't know who did it. Just tell me what you're up to. Look, Bigby, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Your brother? Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. He's being too nice to him. It's a smart strategy. Be patient. This could be the lunatic who killed Miss White. Possibly the other girl, too. And you want Bigby to be nice. You mind loosening those? I can barely feel my fingers! Ah. Real cute, you prick. What are you doing? Getting answers. I told you to keep yourself under control. Uh, let me handle this. Where's your brother, D? I don't know, okay? I haven't seen him since I left to go find Faith's... since we ran into you. But he didn't kill anybody, so you leave him alone. You don't call the shots here, D. Neither do you. You mentioned Faith. What about her? I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me there. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. What did you want from Faith? I'm not telling you shit. You have no right to keep me here. I didn't do anything. I'm saving that. This is really... What's the point of this? Look at this asshole! 
What did you want from Faith? I didn't want shit from that little thief. More trouble than she's worth. I could say the same about you. Oh yeah? Untie me and see how much trouble I am. That's enough. So she stole something from you and you tried to get revenge. Is that it? You think you're so fucking slick. She didn't take anything of mine. She didn't? She stole from my boss. You think I got anything worth stealing? Your boss. So let's talk about your boss then. Come on, D. It's clear you're just following orders. So who's calling the shots? No! I'm fucking done. He should just be asking him questions. This is how these sessions have to be conducted. You always carry this much cash? I don't like banks. So what? I better get that back. Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy, despite what Beauty says about you. At least, you're not a total bastard anyway. But I just can't give you that information. There's no way Beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? You're full of shit. Oh, we're good friends. That's enough. I will not tolerate this savagery. You think someone was trying to kill Snow? Isn't it more likely someone was trying to get back at you by killing her? It's your violent behavior and inability to control your nature that caused this mess. If it weren't for you, Snow might still be alive. You want to talk about Snow? You treated her like shit your whole career. Better take the blame for your incompetence, and now you can. What's going on down here? What was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. Okay, you, you're gonna have to explain this, because I'm really not getting it yet. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy, but hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or at least to figure out who she is, if it's not Faith's body. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone, so I took care of it. Snow? What is it? Are... are you gonna be okay? I mean, uh, 
with all that's happened. I'll be fine. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? I'll figure this out. Don't worry. And what am I supposed to do? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? It's too dangerous out there. Too dangerous? Bigby, I... I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore! I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once I'm and... not yours to lose! I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up though, so try not to be too... you know. I can handle the kid. Okay, 